totally felt like I was being a baby again, learning everything, learning to walk, move, everything. Remember MISC, that rare condition that attacks the organs of children with, children with COVID-19? Well, this man got it. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob McCartney. I'm Julie Cornell. Now, doctors say it's not as common, but they're starting to see cases of multi-system inflammatory syndrome in adults. At KATV TV News Watch Evans, Quinesia Fraser joins us live with a story of a Fremont youth pastor who's still recovering from MISA. Quinesia? Rob, Julie, the A in MISA stands for adult, and doctors with CHI Health say the toll it took on Trevor Larson's body was complex and severe. He was in a coma for eight days. To pull through physical therapy. And I've been practicing, so it should be better, right? You really do need a positive attitude. Just ask 26-year-old Trevor Larson. I just think God listens to our prayers. I think he hears us. The youth pastor says he was exposed to COVID-19 in late January after his roommate tested positive. Soon after. I had a fever, nauseous, super weak. It was time to see a doctor. He decided to take some x-rays, uh, took those, and he comes back and all he says is, you need to go to the hospital. By February 8th, Trevor was in a coma. So for me, it was gut-wrenching to walk into his room every day and tell his mom that he's not showing signs of recovery. Trevor developed multi-inflammatory syndrome, or MISA. Children is MISC, um, but for me, it was, I'm an adult. So, um, MISA. We have definitely seen a lot of cases in children in the United States since the pandemic started. Um, but now we're seeing more and more cases in young adults. He suffered inflammation in multiple organs. With actual viral infection, sometimes it can cause inflammation around the heart. Um, but in adults, it's really um, unusual to see something that have inflammation affecting throughout lots of different system like this. Doctors put Trevor on a ventilator and heart pump. It starts getting a little real, a little scary. You know something definitely is wrong. After eight days in a coma, weeks of inpatient care and now outpatient rehab. Yeah, you feel on your back? Yeah. Trevor is grateful to almost be back to his usual self. <laughs> Now, the cardiologist who treated Trevor says his heart function has normalized, but they plan to do more tests to see if there are still signs of inflammation in the future. Reporting in the newsroom, Quinesia Fraser, KETV News Watch 7.